All right, guys, what is going on today? Today we are going to be doing a heads up battle royale between two big hitters, or supposedly a really big hitter, and uh, we know this is a big hitter right now. So what happened is I posted this last week sometime, and I was on vacation, and I got to see all your comments and stuff like that, criticizing it, and this, that, and the other, saying it's good, it's criticizing. Joe Blow did it better. This Joe Blow on YouTube says it's foaming like this. Honestly, I don't care about those guys, okay? I'm only doing it for me and what I'm personally going to get. So what I'm going to do, my typical Amazon standard generic foam cannon, Chinese made, we are then going to be putting it up against Mr. Pink. We're going to be doing this two different ways. We're going to actually be doing it with what I had somebody say, you put too much water in there, sir, not much water. So for you, I'm going to be putting in only 500 milliliters of water inside there, and then I'm going to be putting the two ounces. I will also do the same with Mr. Pink, but at the same time, I'm going to put my normal about 800 milliliters in there with the two ounces, which you did see the results already on this, and I'm going to tell you, this sucker is going to foam up big time at 800 milliliters. That's why I always compare them all 800 milliliters, just because of the fact that they tend to always work very good at that rate, okay? So here we go, let's go ahead and set it up. We're gonna see which one works better. See if this is really worth $19.99, or I think I paid only $8 for this on sale at the Detail Garage over there in Tampa. So here we go, let's go ahead, let's get it on, and I hope you guys do like this, haters and all. Let's have fun. So here we go. This is the 500 milliliters in the Grios Garage Boss Foam Soap. It is very thick. Again, it really reminds me very close to what it was last time. I mean, not, nothing like crazy. The only difference is it might be a little thinner. We're talking a little thinner than average, but you know, it's you know, it's no big deal. You know, that's just the way I see it. It still behaves whether the same. Just with the 800 milliliters versus 500, I get a lot more uh, spray time on the car, which might actually, you know, reduce it a little bit. But I, I'm still seeing it generally about the same overall. Let's go ahead and wash it down again. Fill it with chemical guys, uh, pink, Mr. Pink, five at 500 milliliters, two ounces again. Let's hit it up. All right, so here we go. This is Mr. Pink, two ounces and 500 milliliters. Same kind of ratio. Look at this. It's just the same. There's zero difference. Zero difference between Griot's Garage at 500 milliliters and Chemical Guys at 500 milliliters and two ounce ratio. There's zero difference. And remember, Chemical Guys on our Griot's Garage on the back of the thing does not show you how many milliliters or ounces of water you should be using. It just shows you how many ounces of product you should be using in your foam cannon. That's about it. So there we go. Let me go ahead and I'll, we'll go ahead and kick it up to the 800 milliliters like I normally do for almost a full uh, a full foam cannon because then you got to add the ounces on top of that. We'll start all over again. About two ounces in each, like usual. Let's go ahead. Go get to it again. About the same. All right, y'all, so here we go. We got our 800 milliliters in it with the Griot's Garage Boss Foaming Cream. It's still the same, it acts the same, it even looks the same when it's on the paint. You see what I'm saying? So there is zero difference for me from what I can actually see 
between a 500 milliliters of water and 800 milliliters of water and then adding the actual foam can soap to it. Now, some people are probably gonna be triggered and be like, you've gotta add the, the soap with it to add it up to 500 milliliters. I'm telling you, there's nothing on the directions of the bottle, so just go with it on that one. They're both gonna act the same. Let me go ahead and then go ahead and set us up for the two ounces of actual Chemical Guys Mr. Pink with the 800 milliliters of water, and we'll continue on and then we'll wrap it up. So I hope you guys are having a lot of fun. Hope the keyboard warriors are having a great time going, don't don't See you in a bit. There you go, there's 800 milliliters of water, two ounces of Mr. Pink in there, identical results. There is zero difference between these two, and there is zero difference if you use 500 milliliters versus 800 milliliters. Let me go ahead and wash this up and then we'll go to their final review and conclusion, but as you can see, it's amazing. I wonder how many people I've triggered so far just touching my car today. It's great because I see it all the time on the YouTube comments. Triggered! Ah! All right, welcome back to for those final thoughts and what we think about the head-to-head -head battle between Gorilla's Garage's brand new foaming surface wash and of course the classic Miss Camel Guys, Mr. Pink. As you guys can see, they are identical. They are spot on identical. There is zero difference between them all. I don't care if you're using it in 500 milliliters for all you guys out there or 800 milliliters. They perform the same. These are identical up and down. However, price-wise, I know for a fact I paid right at $8 for this. I will put the comments below about what it is uh, price-wise, and I know this is $19.99 for 35 ounces. This is 16 ounces, so you can do the math real quick. It's cheaper to buy this or just to get a gallon of this is what I'd recommend if you're going to use it for a lot of foam can. Or honestly, most of the Chemical Guys products will foam really, really good in the foam can. I'll tell you that right away. So there you go. There is a de decisive head-to-head -head competition. There is zero difference between them. If I was uh, talking to Grios and I would like to recommend some things to them, I'd say Grios, $19.99 for 35 ounces, that's just too much. You gotta come down into the real world. Uh, let's say this is $16 for two of these, okay? And that would make uh, whatever, 36 ounces. This is 35 ounces. Bring this down to $15. Make it better, $14.99. And I think this is a winner right here. However, at $19.99, it's kind of standoff when I know I can buy the half gallon for, what is it, $15, $16 off Amazon or uh, Chemical Guys itself for this, and you're going to have 64 ounces or whatever. You know, you guys get what I'm trying to say. It's just a better deal there. So overall, I like them both. Understand that. I like them both. But when it comes down to price per ounce and stuff like that, the Chemical Guys beats it all day long. And there is zero difference between 500 milliliters and 800 milliliters of water. Please, I hope you guys understand that and I hope you really got to see it. I am not here to compete with any other YouTuber. I don't care about the other YouTubers. I don't even watch them. But what I am here to do is give you the best truthful results out there without trying to skew it in any way. And I really hope you guys really appreciated this video because of it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like, you know what to do. Uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up for me and subscribe. And I'll see you all at the very next video. Take care, y'all.